Good morning guys, this is the Polyglot Programmer and today I'm going to try to solve this coin change problem. Uh, I have a little bit of a code today, but let's get down to it. So you're given, a, you're given coins of different denominations um, and a total amount of money. Uh, write a function to compute the fewest number of coins that you need to make up for that amount. Um, if that amount of money cannot be made, uh, return minus one. So, okay. So the first time I read this problem, I said, okay, so this is, this is easy, right? So I can just uh, divide by my amount by the highest coin and then i can keep doing that until I, I reach zero or i never reach zero and then i return minus one that could work but that's def, that's not going to give you the minimum amount of coins because there are some situations where you might uh you might actually um, end up with more coins than you should have so so another approach to 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 do this and it, it took me a little bit of thinking uh, on, on, on how to do it is by using uh, dynamic programming and I think it may be, yeah, dynamic programming here. So what you do is that you, so at least what I did is that you create an array, you create an array, so you create an array of the the size of the amount you want plus one and then you iterate over that array and then you iterate over that array <coughs> and for each value in your array you see how many coins you need for that for each specific coin and then you move to the next coin so so we basically iterate over the numbers in the array using one coin at a time so so for for example for this example we would create an array of 12 12 because first one is zero and that needs zero coins right and then we would go for value one so we have one uh, zero, one, two, three, four. And we have coins one, two, three, three, two, three, two and five. So we will do it like this. So for zero coins, one, uh, for coin number one, We'll need one coin for this value, two, uh, three, four, five, six, se seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I missed that. Here. Right, and then we would move to the second coin. So the 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 formula that we use here is that is uh the formula that we use here is that um <clears throat> is the the current denomination so the is the coin value less or equal than the current amount so is if it is we'll update it so is two less or equal zero no so then we just move on is two less or equal one no we can't form value one with a coin two, right? So one is two less or equal two. Yes, it is. And if it is, we will update the amount on our, our array, on this array, right? We'll update the amount on this array. Uh, with the minimum amount between what was already there and the or either what what was there and minus the the current coin 
So in this case, it's this, it's uh, in this forms that. So, and then uh, in here, uh, is three minus or equal two? Yes, it is. Uh, and then we we will update. So what's so the current value for three for this value is three. The current coin is two. Uh, so what's what's minimum? It's is it the current three, or is it the three? minus two right so three minus two is one yeah plus one because it's is the current coin so in this case we're gonna need two coins and then we keep going with this right and and then we keep going with this until we reach the end and that's that's it that's that's our formula so so let's let's start so first we're gonna define our num of points equals and since we're looking for the minimum value every time we're just gonna assign this to some big value that e that we have so usually I use this for value in range amount plus one. Okay, if you want to see what this is, number number of points. All right. So this is, good. and then we just assign the first one, number of coins to zero. Right? Okay. So now we we need to iterate over our, our our available coins. So four coin in coins, and four. Uh, value in none of coins <laughs> right so we, we say that if our coin is less or equal than value right so we we will update our num of coins so num of num of coins uh, here equals min num of coins value or one plus num of coins our current value minus the current denomination the current coin yeah. and in here and the reason the reason we do this right is because so here we're updating the number of coins with the value uh, uh, of the minimum between the, the current number of coins that is already there, right? So we may already have a number there, right? So for example, we to, to, for the value of three, if we start with the, the coin number one, we're going to have a value of three there, right? Uh, or the number of coins uh, uh, in the current amount right which is 3 minus minus the current coin because if we're if we have the number 3 which is has number 3 there and we're have a coin with value 
1 and 2. And we're current at a coin number 2. So then we are going to update with uh, the current amount minus the number of the coin. So it's going to be 3 minus the 2. Because we were taking that coin out plus 1 because there's an extra coin there because we're subtracting one there's always an extra coin here and then in here then we just return so we just return number of coins uh, the current number of coins with the amount right that we're looking for if number of coins amount it's not float inf else minus one oh. okay and got an error here. List must be what did I miss? Why is it float? It's not float. It's saying that it's float. Oh, yeah. No, I, I now I see my mistake because this is this. I'm not. I'm not iterating over the values here. I need to, to iterate over the index. Yeah. Um, range. That was my mistake. Yeah, I was. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, that was it. Uh, a, a little problem at the end, uh, but we, we managed to solve it, right? So, thank you for watching. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.